So before we dive into this, I just want to mention that there's two sides to stress. There's actually a side to stress that is health building and helps us grow and develop and become stronger. But then there's another side to stress that is health destroying, and this is what we call distress. So in regard to how distress can create blood stasis, a clear example of this is something called broken heart syndrome. So you might have heard stories that someone dies and then just a few days later, their loved one, their husband or wife, dies of a broken heart. Basically what happens is when this person loses their loved one, they get so emotional and so stressed and they have so much grief that they release so much stress hormone into their blood that the blood vessels and the arteries around their heart shut off and tighten and constrict blood flow into the heart muscle. When this happens, that heart muscle becomes ischemic. Basically, it gets starved of blood, oxygen and nutrient to the point where it damages the heart. And sometimes it gets so much damage that it actually causes the person to die as well. And this is a clear example of how distress can affect blood flow in the body. Now, even though it's not this severe for most people, it can create all sorts of problems from poor sleep to digestive problems to chronic pain all this stuff because the stress has effect on blood flow and we need to dissolve and resolve this stress to have free flowing blood all through our body so it can be as healthy as possible. So we need to learn ways to actually dissolve and resolve this stress. Personally, I like to use Chinese medicine. I like to use acupuncture. Acupuncture is great to help release the body's own endorphins and enkephalins and its feel-good hormones. I like to use meditation. Personally, I use transcendental meditation, but anything that brings you to gratitude and brings you a sense of peace is perfect. There's also a method called the Demartini method, which is a great process that you can use to resolve grief and resentment and anxiety and depression, all these sorts of emotional things that pop up in our life. But no matter what you use, we need to learn how to resolve and dissolve chronic distress to ensure that we have good blood flow and good health. So thanks for listening guys. If you have a question related to this video, please leave a question in the comment section below and I'll actually personally answer that question for you. If you really like this video, give it a big thumbs up and if you like the content of this video, please subscribe to my channel to receive more content just like this. Until next time, be grateful and take care.